tonight, TPD confirms they are working several leads in this case. They don't think this was any sort of random attack, meaning uh, Patterson likely knew his attacker. Tonight, his family says they want justice. He had two beautiful daughters, and they would sadly miss him. Devonna Sanders breaks down as she talks about the sudden loss of her son, Eric Patterson. If you have a heart, could you please bring us to comfort. Why did you do this? The 26 year old was shot and killed early Saturday morning inside this unassuming house on West Plaza Place in Tampa. Police say a roommate of his heard a commotion, then saw Patterson down on his back. The still unknown gunman ran from the scene. Investigators are releasing only limited details right now, but say the shooting was not random. We don't think that it is random. Um, I can't say why we think that. We're, we're, it's still early on in the investigation. If anyone knows anything about the murder of Eric, I would appreciate it if you would let us know. Patterson was a standout football player at Plant High School. His former coach tweeting, EP, you will never be forgotten. After high school, Patterson would play at Ball State in Indiana before getting his shot in the NFL. He was connected with the Colts, Patriots, Browns, and Rams. Running back Todd Gurley posting this in his memory. We're still in shock. We'll be in shock for a while. This is not something that comes and goes. We had a close relationship, and he told me he lived out his dreams. So I know, I know he's happy wherever he's at. Now, another big name to express condolences today, legendary head coach Tony Dungy. His son played with Patterson at Plant High School. Again, as for the investigation, they are working several leads. We know they're going up and down Plaza Place looking for any home surveillance cameras that may have caught the crime, the uh, suspected shooter, or potentially the getaway car.